I love end times prophecies because of how silly they are, man. They've all been wrong. They've all been wrong, but people still make them nonetheless. Well, Raw Story is covering a new one now, fairly new one. This is from John Hagee. Listen to this. The Bible speaks of signs in the heaven. What does it mean? What is the prophetic significance? Is this the end of the age? And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. I believe that the heavens are God's billboard that he has been sending signals to planet Earth, and we just haven't been picking them up. I'm gonna walk you through 500 years and show you how God is literally screaming at the world, I'm coming soon. The coming four blood moons points to a world-shaking event that will happen between April 2014 and October 2015. Jesus said in Mark 13, 24, 26, but in those days, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give its light. Then they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. That verse describes a time in the future when the sun and the moon will eclipse at the same time. And God sends planet Earth a signal that something big is about to happen. He's controlling the sun and the moon right now to send our generation a signal. But the question is, are we getting it? No. No, we're not getting it. I certainly haven't gotten it. Intelligent people certainly haven't gotten it. You know what he's saying? He's saying that the end times are coming between now and 2015. Yeah, do yourself a favor, John Hagee. Ask the Y2Kers how that worked out. You remember that? Oh, we didn't plan our computers right to have the, the, the year 2000 in there, so who knows what's going to happen, man. The world banking system can crash. It's going to be Armageddon. People were, like, in bunkers. Then they stored food and bottled water for years to get ready for it. And what happened? Dick. Dick happened. Or how about the Mayans? Remember the whole mine? December 2012, bro! World's gonna end, bro! And then what happened? Crickets. December 2012 happened. <laughs> Everybody was sitting inside watching Spongebob, eating some, some microwavable TV dinners. Uh, wasn't the world supposed to end today or some shit? I don't know. Jeff told me about that, but fuck him, he just makes shit up. Every single time there's been an end times prophecy, what was that group of people? Not, not, uh... Not Jones with the drink and the Kool-Aid and everybody died. Jonestown Massacre, not that. The other guy, the creepy face and the and the uh, everybody was wearing the same sneakers or something. They all killed themselves. They predicted the end of the world. It didn't come. Yeah, uh, it's just time and time and time again, religious prophecies, non-religious prophecies, spiritual garbage, every, just making shit up every single time. How arrogant to think you know exactly when the world is going to end. And what I love the most about this uh, there's never, nobody ever has to answer for it. You ever realize that? People have been dead wrong about this, they never have to answer for it. Nobody ever points their fingers and laughs and goes, You fucking moron. You were so convinced, now look at you. Now what the fuck is wrong with you? And then they'll make another prediction, just shamelessly. Well, now I think it's gonna be this date. That's cause you're a fucking idiot. That's why you think it's gonna be that date now. So, uh, John Hagee hedging his bets were going to be done before 2015. And I love the cheesy music and the suspenseful editing with a speech, like, cut in and out of there. See, that's the thing about editing that I love. They can make, they can, it can make, it can evoke any emotion from you. Sorry, I was stumbling through that. But that, that's what it does. Like, if you have the right music, you know, and you have the right ways of cutting in and out of the video clip and say just the right things at the right times... And then everybody goes, oh, wow, that looks really intense. I'm really into that. But if you get rid of the bells and whistles, it's just some douchebag preacher who's like, Arr! world's going to end soon. Arr! How do I know? God told me. 
He said, God is literally screaming at the world, I'm coming soon. Really? Pretty sure I don't hear him.